y'all, welcome back to my channel. Why don't you get on here today and do a Dread Store Does It Better Volume 2. So I'm just going to jump right into this and I'm going to start with what I think is a deep. It may not be exact, but I like it just as much. These are new. I picked them up at the Ulta sale and I picked them up like all of these. I picked all of these up. I love them that much. These are the NYX Glide On Liners and I'll tell y'all what I was trying to do. The Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. This is a lovely liner, it is. What's so good about this is it's nude and it goes on easy, but so do these NYX liners. They are so nice and they have that same, it's the same soft liner in a new, these go on so easy, y'all. I like these every bit as much as my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. So if you want to save a little bit of money, these are worth a shot. These NYX Glide-Ons are beautiful, and they're not the twist-ups, so I don't break them. These never break. It's that nice plasticky material here that you um, sharpen. These are lovely. I think I got just about every nude color they have. Saying dupe scares me, though. I feel like I'm not qualified to make that decision, but to me, they're just every bit as good. Also, picked up a ton of Essence liners. I love them so much. I got them in a lot of different colors. They go on nice and easy, not too soft, not too hard. Rimmel is getting a little bit harder to find. You can't get it at Ulta anymore. So I'm like, okay, what's going on with a Rimmel? And I love my Rimmel liners, but... I love these Essence every bit as much. So with all of those, really, if I buy an expensive liner, somebody try to stop me. Just tackle me and take me to the ground. Okay, next, and I don't have an upper end comparison to put this against, but I love my NYX Jumbo Stick and Milk. If you've been with me, you know that, but let me just say about this. This has done more to give me more of an eyelid than anything else I do. I put it in the corner, but I also bring it all the way up onto my eyelid and really make a good defined eyelid so my eyes don't look so hooded. This is probably my most important step with that. I'll do a get ready with me with what I'm doing with this now. I cannot even tell you. My Botox brow lift is gone. I don't have any eyebrow lift anymore, and this makes me look like I have eyelids. This is vital. I love my NYX Jumbo Stick and Okay, two liquid eyeliners that I am loving. I love these differently, but I love them both. The Maybelline Curvy, I've been loving on this for months. It has a thin top, so if you hold it right on the tip, you know, you get a thinner line, or you can kind of turn it sideways to get a fatter line, and I love that. I also recently picked up the Physician's Formula. A subscriber friend recommended this, and I love it. This one is much thinner. It's that one. So you can get a real good thin line. And I'm loving this. And this has a serum in it too. So I'll let y'all know if I think this is making my eyelashes grow. This is super nice. I love that. An eyeliner that I have used for years. I use this in every get ready with me I'm doing. I use this I use this every day of my life. It's always what I have on under here. And I kind of forget about it. I've had it for so long. I didn't even think to mention it in my first video until at the Ulta sale, I picked up a ton of different less expensive eyeliners. I thought they're probably all good. No, none of them are as good as my Prestige in black brown. I picked up a ton of NYX liners. None of them stood up to my Prestige liner in black brown. I don't know what it is about this, but it's magic. Trying all those new liners made me appreciate this one more. I thought, you know, would it be easier if they could just pick it up at Ulta? Yeah, it would. But this is better, and it's worth searching for it. Okay, my next one is a foundation, and it's the Matte and Poreless, and I cannot get that tag off, but this is really matte, but goes on nice and easy, smooths out easy, then blends with the oils in my skin so it doesn't look overly matte all day, and I really started appreciating this when I tried other matte foundations, like the Tarte. This is so matte, it makes me look too matte. I, I cannot wear this. It is too it's too matte. It's too dry. It's hard to spread. My Urban Decay All Nighter that I thought I loved is a beautiful coverage. It's a very matte. And then I saw myself in it on a video and was like, that's too matte. I don't get that with this. It's matte, but it doesn't leave you flat looking or doesn't leave me flat looking. I like this better than just about any other 
true matte foundation that I've tried. This is just beautiful. Okay, next, a brush. I just got this and fell in love with it immediately. I need to get backups. They were already sold out of it. The e.l.f. Pointed Powder Brush. This is so nice. It made me not replace my MAC 150S when that went out. It is just the perfect amount of density and softness. It's got that little point, so you've got good control on your face. Highly recommend. I'm picking up more of those. I need about three of these to fulfill that need. A buffing brush. This Real Techniques buffing brush is perfection. Perfectly dense enough, perfectly soft enough to just buff. You could put on foundation with it. It is just, it's lovely. And I'll tell you what I like it better than. <laughs> this new It brush that I picked up on sale. Thank goodness I got this on sale because I saw it and I was like, it's kind of skimpy to me. Now, you may totally disagree. People love their it brushes. But this just did not feel worth the splurge to me. This did not feel like really that upper end to me. If I change my mind, I'll let you know. But no, this one, this one feels better than this one. Okay, then I want to include just a couple of skincare and hair. This is new to me, but I love it. I've been using it for about a week. The Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin. This is dethroning my expensive self-tanner that I love. Any glow you see today is this. I think it builds. You just seriously slap it on in the shower while you're still wet. Put it on all, you don't even have to be careful. It's like putting on a body oil, then I immediately towel dry. I'm like, I'm wiping that off, but I'm gonna do what it says. Nope, it's building up. Every day, I'm a little bit more glowy. Yeah, I don't even know that I'll self-tan. This is perfect if you are too lazy to self-tan, which I usually am. I love it. If you have not tried it, try it. Okay, this next one. My Clinique Toner. This is not drugstore, but compared to my Abashi Toner, this is way less expensive. For the same size, I think this is less than $20. I'll post it right here. I am loving my Clinique Clarifying Toner number two. I know this has kind of a higher alcohol content, so you might research that. That doesn't bother me. I love the clean feeling this gives me. It's less expensive than my Obashi. I used this for years and have recently come back to it. I don't know that I'll purchase another Obashi. I have re-fallen in love with my Clinique Clarifying Toner. I'm getting another one. It's in my ultra cart right now. Sunscreens. Two drugstore sunscreens. I never use my upper end sunscreens anymore. This is probably more than half gone now. The Nivea Sun Protect Water Gel. I think when you order it, it comes in a purple or a blue. This is the one from China. Like that's all written in Chinese. I love this because it's so easy. I'm just putting it in my hand and then all over. And it's just fast. No finesse to that. You just Slap it on and go, and I love that. And then the Biore, it's the same thing. It's the same consistency. It's like a water gel, and it's lovely. I'm going to keep these in my car, and I'm going to keep these on my desk, and these have really become my go-to. Okay, next, my Suave Professionals Hairspray. This has to be in a drugstore does it better. I pick this up all the time. It's what I freeze my bangs with when I'm drying. When my ponytail needs to stay, you know, this is just easy to grab. I keep it in my purse. I just, it's utilitarian. It doesn't make it overly stiff so you can still brush through it and get a couple of days out of your, you know, your hair without washing. This is just great, you know, and it's an inexpensive risk. I think that's about $3. Okay, and that is all of my drugstore products that I think stand equally with my upper end. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.